All right, guys, so we're back for round two. This is the GE commercial washer. This model number is GTW 525 ACP1WB. Oh, there's a one between the P? Yeah, P and W, one. Oh, okay. Let me change that. So this is GE's attempt to get into, like, the commercial... Maytag commercial speed queen ish uh, field. This machine does come with a five year parts and labor warranty mm -hmm. and presumably some other warranties that cover stuff that's probably never gonna break. So I just wanted to get one in, see what it looked like, see what the fuss is all about, do some laundry in it and kind of go from there and make an assessment of whether I think it's uh, worth the money or not. Let's take a close up at the knobs and we'll go over. So starting from left to right, you have your water level setting. You could do low all the way up to max and then auto sensing. For wash cycles, you have deep clean, bulky bedding towels, basically whites colors, delicates, speed wash, and then a basic drain and spin. For water temperatures, you could do tap cold, cold, cool, colors, warm, and hot. Now, I did a live stream on this before, and I did test the hot. It does temper the water, so you don't get straight hot water with this uh, machine. The knobs are kind of, I don't know, I feel a little indifferent about these knobs i feel like they could have done maybe a little bit of a better job with these but um it looks like it's a plastic stem that's screwed to something feels metallic barely catches a magnet i don't know what do you think it's like it can't be aluminum it's like no i mean it's like some sort of cheap white metal? what's white metal i don't know it's where they make Okay, so barely catches a magnet, but it... Okay. All right, so white metal. And I don't know. Anyways, I don't feel that great about it, but whatever. It is what it is. If you like the knobs, let me know, guys, because uh, inside it has a 4.2 cubic foot capacity. So this is bigger than the Maytag Commercial. Uh, it does have a single piece agitator that is pretty weird in its design. It has these straight fins. And you have your fabric softener dispenser. There's a uh, cup holder slash uh, bleach dispenser. That's right here. Guys, this is a perfect for holding a can. So if you ever want to watch your machine uh, in real time, you have a place to store your beer. So anyways, we've did a poll yesterday and we are going to do a deep, deep just a deep wash was there any like specifics on the cycle or no. i just put deep wash i mean there i thought we were going to do max water level so um, oh so oh, so people want deep clean deep, deep clean deep clean yeah, okay yeah. okay so we're going to do deep clean max water level yeah. and i'll probably go to like a warm uh water uh, do you want to do like so yeah, the first thing I want to do is though, I want to take a look at the bottom of the machine so you guys could see what this commercial machine, and for that, Marcus is gonna assist with the camera. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Okay, all right, uh, here, grab your light. All right. So this machine is not unlike other GEs that I've seen with this large cover, the motor. I'll take this cover off so you guys can see the, the guts of it. Oops, there we go. The 
DeWalt's too powerful. Too much power, man. Too much power. All right. So underneath here, you see it's just a basic belt-driven model. It's not anything spectacular. It's just a standard five rib, rib belt. The way that this machine works is that it defaults into the spin and then this little blue guy here this will turn and cause this to lift up and this is agitate see there's a lot less resistance when it does it that way and then when it goes back into spin it'll lock in place and take care of your business this motor does look bigger than the other uh GEs that I've seen, but it still has that same hall sensor that breaks. See this little, this guy right here? This is the hall sensor. And I've seen those fall off of GEs quite a bit. So, I don't know. The water pumps right here. Looks like all just kind of like basic connections and this whole big metal doodad is actually just a gear reducer, so it's nothing nothing to get too excited about let's get this belt back on here <laughs> cool this does come with nearly a poster board sized wiring diagram which is kind of nice because it does put it in a larger print so that way you could see kind of everything that's going on with this washer. So this is the machine control board. This basically controls every single aspect of the washer. This connection goes to the control panel, which uh, basically is just acting as a keyboard. It's just you only put your inputs through there. You have your mode shifter, this thermistor on some models, which I'm not sure if this one does or does not have it. It does have a Wi-Fi module, so presumably you could hook this up to the IoT of the, of the world. This is kind of an interesting thing where it says it has detergent level in line. So I think this is like a sensor of some sort. This might apply for a different machine. I'm not really sure where this would have it. Right here is we have the motor inverter board, which is basically the, this is what supplies the main voltage to the motor to get it to go do its business. And then here we have the actual motor itself. Moving through here, we have the subwasher acceler accelerometer. Why can't I ever say that? <laughs> accelerometer. Uh, this presumably would uh, detect if it's going off balance or anything like that. These are all your various inlet valves. So you have cold, hot, uh, packet bulk, whatever that means, and fabric softener. Your drain pump, your lid lock switch, and then finally your, pre your uh, power coming in. And that's really about it. It's a pretty simple design and I mean I give it respect for that it just doesn't look very commercial to me that's all so without too much further ado let's get this bad boy back on the tripod I'm gonna put this cover back on so I don't forget. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. It does say direct drive on the diagram. That's funny. This is what? It says direct drive on the diagram. Did you see that? Oh, I didn't. No. Yeah. 
Well, I can assure you it's not. <laughs> And guys, before we uh, go any further, I got a special. For those of you who don't know, we got new shirts. This is the uh, newest Lorraine Furniture. Let's talk about washing machines. You see, we got a little, little life hack for you guys. Anyways, I, for you guys, I have this on special. This weekend, or through this weekend, if you guys buy a shirt at my website, LorraineFurniture.com, we are going to give you 50% off a t-shirt if you use the coupon code LIVE, right? L-I-V-E. L-I-V-E. -E. So just use the coupon code LIVE and you'll get half off the t-shirts. Uh, but it'll expire Monday morning. So if you want to do it, do it sooner than later. All right, let me get this camera set up and... Extend this one. Before we extend that one. And then, yeah, put that on the back. You should do your mm -hmm. lights first. You think so? Yeah. Because that'll be a light load. You can see if it's like, you know, on a light load, it's kind of circulating and stuff. I think I'm going to do my work pants first. Okay. Those are the ones that are... Which ones? The big the, ones? Yeah, yeah. Like my, my work, my lined pants. That's okay. the one I'm going to do. So, guys, these are my, like, fleece-lined carpenter pants. So, these are pretty thick. This is going to be a real torture test for this machine. I do like the capacity of this machine, I will say. Yeah, so I'm going to put six pair in, which is not nothing, that's for sure. And one thing you guys could pay attention to as far as, like, the turnover goes, one of these pair is, like, a really dark brown, so you'll be able to see that during the rollover. So put, like, a half a scoop in so that way it doesn't suds up too much. That's way too much. Less. That's good. Perfect. Yeah, man. I don't know. All right. And so for this load, we're going to do, by your request, deep clean, max water level. And I'm going to pick warm for... That's good. I want to pick warm because hot... We'll probably shrink these a little bit more than I'd care for. So, yeah, there we go. So deep clean, max fill, warm water, no extra rinse. This should be a relatively quick cycle, I, or at least I hope so. Someone said, please close the zipper. <laughs> oh, cut it. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to. Yeah. You're supposed uh, yeah, but... <laughs> This isn't a video on how to properly do laundry, guys. So don't 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 take this in uh, as as advice on how to do your laundry. I'm just throwing these in there for, you know, just to throw them in. Um, meanwhile, guys, I'll be on I'll be off to the side while this machine's running. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, chime in, and I'll I'll probably speak on camera. And that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. How many likes do we have so far, Marcus? Ten. Ten likes. Okay, good. If you haven't already, hit the like button if you guys like this video, because it really does help me out. So, all right. Well, here we go.
so pine salt is actually a really good uh, degreaser. So if you have like greasy or oil stains on your clothes, uh, pine salt will help get rid of that. And for me, it's eliminated my need to put any type of fabric softener in because the pine salt kind of leaves like a nice scent when the laundry is done. I don't. No, no. I bet you it's got something bigger than like average, which I don't know. I don't know. You'd probably have to look it up to see. But it's like it doesn't really matter. This thing still sounds like it's dying when it's moving, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure that this washer is adequately powered, but it just doesn't sound like it's got a lot of power. That's for sure. Point four horsepower, so that's a little bit weaker than the Maytag, that's for sure. Heard Chewy he was barking at a customer. That's cold.
<laughs> 81 degrees on warm. That's not exactly impressive, but... There's my brown pair of pants here. They're kind of working their way up already. That's kind of impressive.
It's actually, no, it's that my dark brown pair of pants, wherever they went, they came and gone, so I'm not disappointed with the way it's washing, that's for sure. It does seem like it's doing a pretty decent job. Yeah, there's my pants again. They're, it's moving around, that's for sure. I mean, it's doing something. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit more room. I mean, all this capacity and there's still six inches of water level to be had, you know? And we did pick the max fill option, right? Yeah, we did. We picked the max. I wonder. I bet you the bulky might get, yeah, might get a little higher. So that's like one, two, the third set of bubbles down. I'm gonna mark that, or take, at least make a mental note. What do you guys think about this washer? I feel like it's doing a halfway decent job with the agitation, that's for sure. Done when it's done. Yeah. So at $1,100, that's a lot of money for this machine. I don't know, is that how much they're selling for? That's what GE officially sells it for. We wouldn't. We would I mean, how much are people actually selling them for, though? Like, what's like, what's it like on like AJ Madison or whatever, one of those like. I'm not really sure. I mean, the five-year warranty is one thing, but... And then... Recently, I think we would have to sell it at basically a little under any commercial. Like, 
I mean, yeah. maybe something like that. Something. And then to answer your question, uh, WFK, I have not investigated the parts very thoroughly. I just unboxed this machine yesterday, so I don't I don't have any of that information. I am going to get in uh, kind of like the residential version of this machine uh, in the coming weeks, and I'll probably be able to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see what's what the fuss is all about, I guess. What's that for that price by an LG front loader? Yeah. I mean, for 1100 bucks. Yeah, I, I mean, can agree with that. That seems a little... Yeah. If LG made a front load, a commercial front loader, that would do it. That would be it. They do. Like a five-year? Well, no, five but they make a commercial front. They make a coin-operated right, one. They made a residential commercial. You know? well, I they, guess this is what this... With double row... <laughs> <laughs> with two stages. <laughs> yeah. Nah, just the bearings, man. If it, if they made a double row bearing, yeah, front and back, like a good quality one, good it'd it'd be an eternity washer. Yeah. Like, Maybe that's it. That's it. Maybe that's what we gotta do. We gotta make it. Start a uh, what do you a Kickstarter? Yeah, make, startup washer. <laughs> startup washer. I wonder if that's actually ever been like. I'm uh, sure somebody's tried it, but do you need millions to make a washer? Starter washer company. <laughs> Gulp. Oh, that's that's not that's not washer. <laughs> it's a washer filter. Uh, All right, guys. Let me take care. see ya. Good luck to you with your yeah. How much you sell? Twenty-two bucks. Twenty-two. Yeah. Do you uh use balls in your laundry machine? Your washer. Is this like their cool down? Yes. I am impressed with the turnover though, because like those brown pants, those I they started at the bottom, they made it to the top pretty quickly, and then down and up again. You did these pants on another machine recently, and it did not do this well. Yeah, yeah. So it's like. From a performance standpoint, so far, I'm pretty, you know, I, I'm not disappointed. It is doing uh, a pretty decent job of moving the clothes around. And I'm pretty sure, like, the spin cycle, it seemed a lot faster than the 750 that it's purporting, that's for sure. Somebody said that it does, uh, like, a six... It's quite the wash cycle, though. Jeez. Uh, 
Yeah. Is it? How long is it? How long has it been going for? Dude, it was, I mean, you probably started it 30 minutes ago. I'd say. No. It's got to stop here soon. It's getting close. But I wonder if it's going to do a spray rinse or is it going to do a full tub rinse? Spray rinse. The spray rinse was good on that. Yeah, we want the spray rinse. No, we want the full tub rinse. <laughs> we actually want a full tub and a spray rinse. Yeah. Because that's when you're really... Rinsing. That's when you're rinsing. This Oh, this agitator has those, like, graded... Like, it's got those, the, yeah, the, yeah. Like the filter things on the side. Yeah. The, like the, yeah, it's an interesting agitator. It doesn't sound like, or it doesn't look like it would do very well, but it seems to be uh, taking care of business. Okay, enough already. Let's get to the draining. <laughs> Samsung phones tend to explode. Which phone was that? That was the Note, right? Note something? Was it? Yeah. I don't know. I was blowing up. I drank all the Apple Kool-Aid back in 2007 or whenever they came out with the iPhone, and I never looked back. I had an LG phone at one time. It was, it was nice. It a lot. Yeah. I mean, I, I had like an LG flip phone as well, like one of those like. Oh, you had one of those guys. Yeah. I don't even remember the phone that I had before. I think I had like a. Dude, they they need to bring that back. The phones with the actual keyboards, like the oh, those are the best, dude. Yeah, those are okay. You know what was like one of my favorite phones of all time was like when Nextel. You remember Nextel? They used to have the push to talk. Oh yeah. They used to have the walkie talkies yeah. thing. Dude, they were great. They were bulletproof. Like, like Gator? No. You could you could beep somebody, but like then you just push a button and be like, yo, what's up? It was like literally it was like walkie talkies. It was such a cool idea, man. It was such a cool idea. Just like it was loud, like you could be like right here, like operating heavy equipment, and people would hear you. You know, so there's like no expectation of privacy, of course. Right. It is. Yeah, but like, man, I've dropped that phone so many times. It was bulletproof. It never broke. I told you about the Apple Watch. Yeah, those are the good old times right there. Never ending after.
We've been trying to get the the new version of the Maytag commercial for review, um, you know, a bit early. Uh, but we haven't had any luck on it so far, but hopefully that still happens. Because um, we want to be able to, you know, bring that to you guys first. see you. Water. I'm not going to give you a bath today, buddy. It's gonna drain. It's gonna drain. That said chewy, I think. But that's a chewy. Oh, look at that. Uh, dude, I know. Like, no, but look. This is the thing. It, it doesn't. It literally doesn't charge. It, it only sucks power. It doesn't. Like, it needs more power than even this and the battery to keep it. Oh, so it's using. It's not charging. I mean, I could probably.
of will it bang against the cabinet. I hope not. Sounds like it's gonna die. It, it does kind of, but I'm told that this is the normal. This is the normal sound. spray
think this is a spray rinse too. There's no way that this is. the cool things is, is that this spray of water is hitting the agitator and it was the agitator was flinging it into the clothes yeah. and then like the back half that was making some contact but I felt like a lot was going like right on the wash plate and not like touching the clothes there's still some suds coming out of the water the, from the drain pipe I wonder if that's... Yeah, that was it. It's at spin now. So it just does like a... Did you put an extra rinse? No. No. The extra rinse is probably the only full top rinse yeah. that you're going to get on this machine if you do the extra rinse. So it does just one extremely long wash cycle. And then a spray rinse. Yeah. I mean, we'll find out when it's done. If it's if the clothes stink like tights all or if they're kind of fresh, you know what I mean? I mean, this thing certainly is longer than the other way. There's a main tank purpose. That's for sure.
Well, guys, I'm going to say I'm kind of impressed with this wash cycle. It did quite a bit of agitating, that's for sure. The rinse, let's... Wow, that's like really well rinsed, actually. Give that a sniff, dude. Tell me if you smell the pine saw. Barely. No, not really. Like, almost, like, almost yeah, no. Yeah, basically gone. Wow, that's pretty good, guys. Huh. Well, I guess that extended spray rinse is, uh, is the bee's it. knees. Yeah. You know? Huh. Well, so far, so good with this machine. I kind of, uh... I'm, I'm a warming up to it a little bit, that's for sure. I'm still very cautious about the overall quality of this machine. I, I've i just been burned so many times with GEs of years past that I'm not really like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I guess I feel a little bit jaded from uh, working on GEs in the past and they've been so difficult to work on and unfixable in, in most cases so but from the performance standpoint this washer is pretty impressive i can't uh i can't knock it for its performance that's for sure it did a really good job and i feel like uh you know it kind of uh really impressed me today that's kind of uh interesting did you hear the chime yeah, the chime was okay. I, I I feel like that's been a GE chime for a long time because I remember my mom well, like for a little had bit. a washer when I was like in high school. That sounded like that. Uh, also, guys, just another reminder: if you go to my website, you could buy this T-shirt half price. So they're normally like twenty-two bucks. You could buy them this weekend only for like eleven bucks plus three dollars shipping. So. Definitely get one if you don't already have one. We have it in gray, and we also have it in like a kiwi green, which is a really cool color. Uh, after Monday, they won't be on sale anymore, and you have to pay full price. And if you do, that's okay too, because it does support the channel. Well, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see with this machine uh, afterwards. I'm going to do several more loads with this machine, kind of run it through its paces and see what um, what I could get out of this bad boy. And if it works out, I don't know. Maybe I'll start selling this machine. I really don't know. I, I feel so conflicted because I told myself that I don't really care for GE laundry, but this washer really kind of changed my mind a little bit, or at least so far. It's just really impressive. The, the wash action is good. And even with this single piece agitator, it really kind of took care of business. And this is not an easy load to do. A lot of washing machines fell flat on their face uh, washing these very stiff, difficult to manage pants. So I tip my hat to them so far. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one, okay?